Is default boot device missing or boot field blue colored screen displayed on your Windows 11? Then you are at the right place as here is how to fix it. Let's get started. This is the Windows Club. Some users have complained about this problem that when they start their computer, it doesn't boot. Instead, a default boot device missing or boot failed blue colored screen is displayed on their Windows system. Now, here is how to fix the issue. Let's get started. Method 1. Check the boot sequence and boot mode. Check the boot sequence and correct it. In addition, you can also make sure that the correct boot mode is selected. To check and change the boot order and boot mode, turn off Windows PC or laptop. Press the power button and repeatedly press a function key which is supported for your PC or laptop to enter into the BIOS setup. The process to enter BIOS differs from motherboard to motherboard. So you can check the user manual or check the manufacturer's website to know the exact process. Press the dedicated BIOS key to enter into BIOS. In the BIOS setup, switch to the boot tab. Look for the boot priority mode or boot option priorities. If your boot hard disk is not present in the first position, then change the boot sequence to set your hard disk on the top. You need to use arrow keys and then press the enter key to set the boot option priority. Press the F10 hotkey to save and exit. Now your system should boot and the problem will be fixed. Method 2. Perform Windows Startup Repair using Installation Media Startup Repair is a built-in feature of Windows. If there is a problem with boot files that are needed to start an operating system, then the Startup Repair feature can help you find and fix those files. Since you cannot boot into your system, you need to perform startup repair using installation media for your Windows system. You first need to create a Windows bootable USB or DVD drive using another system and connect it to your system. Now boot from the installation media and the Windows installation setup will appear. You don't have to perform the installation process. Instead, in the Windows installation setup, click on the Repair Your Computer option. Now select Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then Startup Repair. Follow the on-screen instructions to start the diagnosis and fix the issues. This should work. Method 3. Rebuild Boot Configuration Data File Rebuild the BCD file. To do this, boot your computer into Advanced Recovery Mode. Launch command prompt available under Advanced Options. To rebuild the BCD or Boot Configuration Data File, use these command. Bootrec slash rebuild BCD. It will scan for other operating systems and let you select the OSs you want to add to BCD. If you have issues performing these steps, you can follow this guide. Method 4. Make sure the primary partition is active. As you are not able to boot into Windows, you will need to use a Windows installation media for it. Connect the installation media and follow these steps. When the Windows Setup screen appears after connecting the installation media, use the Repair Your Computer option. Select the Troubleshoot option, Access, Advanced Options and click on Command Prompt to open an elevated CMD window. Type Disk Path command and press Enter. Execute List Disk command and the available hard disks will be visible in the Command Prompt window with disk numbers like Disk 0, Disk 1, Disk 2, etc., Disk Size and other information. Select your hard disk. For example, if your hard disk is disk 0, then select disk 0 command to execute it and select it. Execute list partition or list volume command to view the available partitions for your hard disk. Now select the primary partition where Windows is installed. So, if Windows is installed in partition 1, then execute select partition 1 command. Finally, execute active command and your primary partition will be set as active. Close the CMD window. Disconnect the installation media, USB or DVD drive and restart your system. Now the system should detect the primary partition and boot windows. Method 5. Reset BIOS settings to default. If the above solutions don't help and Windows has failed to boot or load the operating system, then you should reset BIOS settings to default. The process to reset BIOS differs from motherboard to motherboard. So you can check the user manual or check the manufacturer's website to know the exact process. After resetting BIOS to default values, you should also set the boot order, boot mode, etc. Now check if the operating system starts. 
So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.